Hello beautiful people. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. This is going to be the mid-July 2022 reading for the zodiac sign of Scorpio. As always, my readings are very intuitive, so I'll provide you with any intuitive messages that I receive, as well as the meaning of the tarot cards. I do have recommend you check out your sun, moon, and rising just to get a full picture of everything that's going on for you this week. Or excuse me, the remainder of this month, not this week. And if you haven't done so already, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. When you subscribe, that helps me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post future videos. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump in and get started. In column number one, we're going to take a look at what's wrapping up and coming to a close, so last few weeks or month. Column number two is going to be a general look at the remainder of July. We're also going to do a money column, a love column, and in the fifth and final column, we're going to do a message from our future self or spirit guides. We're also going to do three yes or no questions. <coughs> a healing crystal, so your crystal of the month, and a healing note for you. Well, let's take a look here, pulling a summary card for what's wrapping up and coming to a close. We have the card Clarity. Um, clarity is an interesting thing, but the more clarity we have, the better. So likely something has happened these last few weeks, Scorpio, where plain and simple, you just have more clarity on something than you did before. But let's see what messages we have coming through here. The first card we have is the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card with a couple different meanings. This can even be an indicator of feeling like you're lacking fulfillment, but it also could be a card of surprise gifts with this Fourth Cup coming in. So two very wildly different meanings with this card here. So some of you could have had surprise gifts and some of you unfortunately could have been maybe feeling a little less fulfilled than you would like. Hopefully with the clarity that's coming in though, the clarity isn't necessarily going to directly make you feel more fulfilled, um, but it's going to help with the process. The next card that we have here is the King of Wands. The King of Wands is a very bold card. It's a card of leadership, power, charm, courage. I do feel like you could have been helping somebody lead something through something these last few weeks. Um... And I feel like you really have had the ability to convince people of your perspective. It's been very charming and people seem to take your word and agree with your side of things. At the bottom here we have the Four of Pentacles, which is a card of desire for long-term security. Um, so definitely being future focused. Um, this clarity very well could have given you the opportunity to adjust or think about your plan for the future as well. Obviously the more clarity we have, the smarter we get, the more we know what we want. But let's take a look and see what messages are coming through, what we can give you through the clarifiers. The first clarifying card we have is the Ace of Pentacles. Anytime we have an Ace card, it's a card of newness. With the Ace of Pentacles, this is new job, raise, promotion, investment, income. Um, that very well could have been this prize gift. Um, it could have been a job offer you weren't expecting, a raise, promotion, um, a bonus of some sort, which is very exciting. The nice thing with this too is for those of you that did start a new job, I think some of that lack of fulfillment could have been related to your previous job. So this will be a more fulfilling new job for you. The one thing I do want to throw out there, not to go off on a tangent here, I personally used to think that fulfillment came just from my career. And let me tell you, my life was much, much happier when I realized and started looking for fulfillment and things outside of just my employment. So please do keep that in mind. Like I said, I won't go on the tangent, but just a little thought there. The next card that we have is the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands is a card of teamwork, commerce, expansion, travel. Some of you definitely could have done some traveling these last few weeks. Um, but this, again, teamwork is the word that's sticking out here. I do feel like you were supporting someone with something and really guiding someone through someone. Um, you were the teamwork. You were the partner in the case with the Three of Wands. Then we have the Seven of Cups at the bottom here. The Seven of Cups, if you look at this card, there's something different happening in each of these cups. Typically this indicates busyness, lots going on, lots of different things in every different cup. Um, but this is also a card of being non-committal. So there's something about 
future planning that you're not ready to fully commit to. So I would encourage you to think about that. It's hard to accomplish things when we're not truly committed to accomplishing them. So just kind of take the pairing of these cards um, and do think that through. If there's something you want long term but you're not fully committed to getting there, um, make sure you take a good look at that and action one way or the other. Now taking a look at our next column, we are going to, um, this is anything that is just kind of a general look at the remainder of July. Our summary card is reaction. When I see this card, it's a good time to process feelings, process emotions you haven't had the opportunity. It's a good time to react to events that maybe you have not had time to. Um, mostly all about processing feelings. But let's see what cards we have coming under this column. The first card that we have is the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a very patient card. This is also a card of new job, raise, or money news. So definitely some of you are getting a new job, some sort of new money, which is super, super exciting. And this does feel like something that you had to be pretty patient for. Um, so like to see that. In terms of being patient and waiting to process feelings, though, now is the time. Do not put off processing those feelings that you need to. The next card that we have is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is a card of making a decision, but as you can see in this card, they're almost weighing the options of both of these um, both paths. So I do see you kind of making pros and cons and thinking about path A or path B, which is good. You want to make sure that you spend the time thinking about all options before you just make a decision this month. At the bottom here, we have the Hermit. The Hermit is a card about going within for clarity. Um, it's about living your life's purpose. We see this light here. That light is the light that's within you. Scorpio. So do make sure again that you're doing things that feel good, especially this decision. Trust your gut here, but it's like you need to be thinking, is this what I want long term? We already were talking in this wrapping up column that you were kind of non-committal and for future sake you needed to commit or not commit. Um, so make sure you're deciding based on what feels good inside. The next, or excuse me, our first clarifying card here is the Chariot. Somebody once described this to me as the Vroom Vroom card. This is a card of action change, being on a journey. Um, you're kind of riding the wave of this new money or this new job, which is super exciting. Honestly, take the plunge, take the next step, jump in with both feet. Um, it can feel a little unsure. The interesting thing about the chariot is oftentimes, more often than not, we don't know where we're going with the chariot. We just have to trust that the chariot is taking us to the right place. Um, this is also a card of new vehicles, so some of you could be getting a new car or truck this month, which is super exciting as well. The next card that we have is the Judgment card. Scorpio, the Judgment card is a card that is always favorable for you. This is a card of clarity. This is also a card all about being on your life's purpose. So love these repeat messages. Clarity, life's purpose, making a decision. Then at the bottom here we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is very studious, very hardworking. Um, and this I feel like is the message, sorry, I'm trying to think how I want to say this. Make sure that you are working hard towards something that makes you feel good, not just anything. Um, so really this is a good time to look at the light inside of you, make sure you're making the right choice, going on the right path. This is like a card of commitment and really sinking time and energy into it. So make sure you're giving that time and energy to the right thing. Now let's take a look at our next column, which is anything related to money. So think job, career, finances, businesses you run, investments you have. The first card that we have is the Fool card. The Fool card is the first card in the Major Arcana. It is a card of fresh hope, taking chances, new paths, adventures, beginnings. Um, definitely some of you are taking a new job, starting in a new company, getting promoted. Um, so that new energy is out there. 
The next card that we have is the Hanged Man. The Hanged Man is kind of a stagnant card. Um, if you look here, this person is quite literally hanging there by their foot. And in this case, you typically need more information before you can proceed forward. However, when you flip it over, then you have the Fool again. So new beginnings and then new beginnings come once you find out more information. So interesting there. Seems like there's lots of things, lots of balls in the air right now. The next card that we have is the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is very confident and very self-assured. I like this card. This is like walking into the room and knowing you're all that. Um, so as you go into these new beginnings, do make sure you're very confident, self-assured, and just own it because it's not even baking it till you make it. You're very capable here, Scorpio. Let's clarify here. The first clarifier we have is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is a card of keeping and maintaining boundaries, but it's also a card of being persistent. I think boundaries is going to be the more important message here. Um, if you look at this card, there's all these wands stuck in the ground, and this person didn't really build a wall around them. They built more of a fence, and through this fence, they can filter in the good and filter out the bad. Some of you might have been in a position where you were being underpaid or overworked or just like were the person that committed to everything. Um, this new opportunity is a good time to set new boundaries for yourself, even like overworking. Like maybe you're working 50 hours a week. This is a good time to reset and get back down to that 35, 40 hour work week. The next card that we have is the Empress. The Empress is a card of creation and abundance. You know we love abundance in the money column. We all want an abundance of money. So I'd love to see this card here. Um, but again, we're really creating this new thing. For whatever reason, Scorpio, there's something new and then there's something new coming on top of it. This isn't one new thing, this is two new things, um, but very abundant, very much so the ability to create, the ability to forge your own path here. Then at the bottom we have the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is usually a love card, but this is also a card of partnership. And this could be proposal, this could be this new job offer, new business partner, but it is a very, very strong partnership. Um, and it's gonna enable you to be really self-assured and self-confident. This person is going to be like, yeah, go get it, um, and fully support you, which is good to see. So nice new partnership coming out of these, these new opportunities as well. Now we're gonna take a look at our next column, which is anything related to love. So think family, friends, relationship, children, whatever you associate with love, Scorpio. The first card that we have is the Emperor. Starting off with really strong love card. I know when you see this, you don't think love, but let me explain. Um, this is a card of long term. This is a card of strategic planning. So whether you're entering into a new relationship or you're in an existing relationship, this is a nice long term healthy relationship. If you're hoping to get pregnant um, or hoping to grow your family, this is a great card for you as well. The Emperor is very much a good parenting card. So a nice one to have in the love column. The next card that we have is the King of Cups. The King of Cups is very supportive, very leadership-like, very tolerant, very empathetic. This is going to be you, Scorpio, especially these next few weeks. I'm not saying it's not usually you, but the next few weeks... Um, do make sure that you're really supportive. Do make sure they're very tolerant and very empathetic. I'm getting the feeling that if you have kids, one of your kids is kind of overwhelmed. They just have a lot going on. Um, this could be a family member or a spouse that's a little overwhelmed. So not saying that you're not understanding, but now's a good time to be a little bit more understanding than usual. Then at the bottom we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is going to echo that same message. This is a very nurturing card, a very supportive card. Um, there's somebody around you right now that needs kindness and compassion. So just be aware of that, Scorpio, um, and act accordingly there. Let's take a look, though, and see what other messages we have. The first clarifier we have is the World card. The world card is a card of completion. It's the last card in the Major Arcana. It's like the world has come full circle. Um, completing a goal, completing a lesson. This could be travel for some of you too, so maybe you're going to be traveling these next few weeks. But this is very much so like leveling up in energy. It seems like you've completed something and now you're moving to the next step in this nice, healthy, long-term relationship. 
The next card that we have is the Hermit. We talked about the Hermit earlier. Um, going within for clarity and this light within you. You like almost know what those around you need. So again, do make sure that you are those King of Cups traits that being very supportive, being very tolerant, being very empathetic. Um, you're almost starting to intuitively know who needs what these next few weeks. And at the bottom here we have the Moon card. The Moon card um, is a card of trusting your intuition as well. You have two cards echoing the same thing here. Actually four cards with the King of Cups and Queen of Cups and now the Hermit and the Moon. Very similar messages coming through. This is just like knowing what somebody needs. Um, and the bottom two taking care of whoever needs what. So interesting love message there but Scorpio I'm sure it will make sense for you then last but not least we're going to take a look at our fifth column which is a message from our future self or spirit guides so something to carry into the month of July with us we have the card renewal I love renewal sometimes we just need to renew our energies renew our hope um, but renewing is such a good feeling it's like that R&R &R, that rest and recover um, getting ready to go again getting things moving again but let's see here what we've got going on the first card that we have is the hierophant the hierophant is a very traditional card a card of expectations and conformity i do feel like you need to shake up the norm a little bit um to feel better you're not getting renewal from doing the same thing every single day so just keep that in mind do shake up your schedule a little bit um like i said you're just not getting renewal from your day-to-day -day schedule right now scorpio the next card that we have is the ace of cups anytime we have an ace card it is a card of newness the Ace of Cups is typically a new baby, relationship, proposal, marriage. So wonderful wonderful if you're hoping for any of these. Sometimes this proposal can be a job offer or a business opportunity as well. So it's not necessarily strictly related to love. But definitely some newness there. And on the bottom we have the Sun. Really truthfully it doesn't get much better than the Sun, sun card in the deck. This is a card of material happiness, joyous outcomes, success. You do need to make sure you can find that renewal, get that renewal so you can be in this very, very happy place with the sun. Taking a look at our clarifiers, the first card that we have is the devil card. This is a card of greed, envy, materialism, obsession. Um, interestingly enough, when I see this, this is like the budget or schedule card again. So this message is just really echoing. There needs to be some sort of change to your schedule. Again, you're not getting the renewal that you need in your current day-to-day -day schedule. The next card that we have is the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is a card of self-sufficiency, financial gains. Um, so not only is there new love, there's new money here too um, in this place of renewal. Um, really interesting, but I think we're just moving into new opportunities. Nice new relationships, growth of family, um, money opportunities, financial gains. So lots and lots of newness um, and very positive, happy newness with that sun card down there. At the very, very bottom, we have the Ten of Wands. This is a card of stress, exhaustion, having lots of burdens. Um, again, renewal is going to be the key to put this to bed so we can get to that unlocking that full happiness with the Sun card. So do make sure you find some renewal this month. Now at this point, I'm going to give you the opportunity to ask three yes or no questions. We're going to use the Gypsy Witch Fortune Telling Deck. If you don't have three questions in mind, Scorpio, you can pause the video and think of them really quick. But question number one is the Ten of Clubs. This is the number 35 card. Um, that's going to be a no. Question number two is the Two of Clubs. This is number 46 card. That is also a no. And question number three is the Ten of Hearts. This is number seven card. That's going to be a yes. So no, no, yes for you, Scorpio. If you watched your video earlier this month, we did pull a card from our Healing Stones deck, which is a crystal to keep with you through the month of July. Your crystal is Rose Quartz, which is good for softness, love, great for self-love. Um, really good crystal to have all around all the time, too. And last but not least, we're going to pull a card from our Healing Notes deck. Your Healing Notes, Scorpio, says... The body heals with play, the mind heals with laughter, and the spirit heals with joy. 
Thank you so much for tuning in, watching, and listening. Please do like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how this video resonates for with you. Um, again, subscriptions help me greatly, and you'll be notified when I post future videos. And if you feel inclined, it did include my memo in the comments box if you'd like to make a donation. But thank you so much, Scorpio, and have a wonderful rest of your July.